Hello, my name is Dr. Jay Kunstler, and I'm the director of the Department of Polymer Chemistry at Bausch & Lomb in Rochester, New York. Today I'm going to describe to you the chemistry behind the Fogged Shield formulation and, and how it works. The main component in the fog Shield formulation is what we call a polymeric surfactant. Now a polymeric surfactant, I'm going to draw for you. It contains both hydrophilic and hydrophobic groups, and that's essentially the definition of a surfactant. Very simply, it's a molecule that contains hydrophilic groups that love water and hydrophobic groups that hate water. This material that I'm describing to you is polymeric. Now, a polymer is a long, long chain of many molecules tied together. This part of the polymer is hydrophobic, and what we've done to this is we've incorporated or directly linked into this hydrophobic polymer, hydrophilic side chains. These love water, these hate water. This is the main ingredient behind the Fog Shield formulation, and this is why Fog Shield works so well. Now on a lens, when you're coating your lens, if you can bear with me on this, there's your lens. And what you're doing then, when it evaporates, is you have a nice, protective, anti-fog, very thin, transparent coating of this polymeric surfactant that I talked about. Polymers aid in the durability and longevity uh, for this fog shield application. But the beauty behind this though is under fogging conditions when you have moisture coming in, particularly warm moisture, what happens immediately is that these hydrophilic side chains orient themselves towards the outside of the lens, forming a beautiful continuous wettable film. Now the wettable film is transparent because it, does, because it doesn't uh, diffract light. So what happens then when you don't have that protective polymeric coating from Fog Shield? Well, what happens then is the water under fogging conditions beads up on the surface. Now why is that? Well, most materials don't like water. They're simply hydrophobic. So when water beads up on the surface, it forms these tiny droplets of, of water that do not transmit light. They result in hazing, they result in a translucent surface. So Fox Shield, the chemistry behind it is complex, and the description that I gave you today was very simple. But the fact of the matter is, the Fog Shield chemistry, as complex it is, and as simple as I just described it, works extremely well under a wide variety of conditions.